Morning everybody, my name is Alex Rivers. I am the Head of Wills and Probate Department here at Astor Patterson. Uh, thank you for coming along. Uh, this morning I've just got a short seminar for you about the importance of making your will. Uh, in particular for those of you who perhaps have recently bought property, uh, for those of you entering into new relationships or separating or anyone who has children, uh, I'm going to highlight some of the uh, matters that may make it more important for you to make a will. Okay, so the main aims of this seminar today, we want to talk to you about why it's important for you to make a will. We also, hopefully along the way, we'll dispel a few myths about wills. Um, I'll talk about a few specific situations and issues relating to wills you might want to consider. I'll give you a bit of information about our process of making a will, and if there are any questions at the end, obviously I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, so a lot of people do put off making a will, a lot of people blame it on not having time. For most of our clients, they only need to see us twice, so that's two meetings. First of all, to take your instructions. You'll have to spend some time then reviewing the draft that we send out to you. And then a second appointment to come and see us again and sign the will. For most people, that's just two hours of your life. Um, I know for some people there are difficult, perhaps family situations, different dynamics that need to be considered. And people put off wanting to make those hard decisions. But obviously if you come in and speak to us, it may be we can talk it through with you. There might be suggestions we can put to you that perhaps you haven't thought of that hopefully make making those decisions a lot easier. And ultimately a lot more beneficial and less stressful for your family when the time comes. A lot of people think they don't need a will. Um, however, everybody's got something to leave. If it's just a bank account, your personal belongings. You know, everybody should write a will, even if, and we'll get onto the intestacy rules, even if your wills say exactly what the law says, who should inherit your estate, do you really want your family in a time of grief having to do legal research to find out what on, it, what on earth it is they're supposed to do and who they're supposed to pay your estate to? I would say as well, please do not put off making your will. You can lose capacity in the future to make your will and by that point it might be too late. And I know for a lot of people as well, it's difficult to think about. You don't want to face up to your mortality, but at the end of the day, you have to think about those loved ones that you're leaving behind. For those two hours of your life, those two hours of discomfort, you could save them so much trouble. So, most importantly, why should you make a will? The will is the most important document you will ever write. You have to get it right first time, and you certainly can't change it once you've gone. So doing that is so important to make sure who you want, your loved ones, benefit from your estate on your death. If you die without a will, then it's the intestacy rules that will apply. These dictate who should inherit your estate if you haven't made a will. And that might not be what you would like. For example, you might want your spouse to inherit all of your estate, but the intestacy rules might provide otherwise. The intestacy rules also, don't make any provision for cohabitees or unmarried partners. And by relying on the intestacy rules, you're actually losing control on you deciding who you want to inherit and who you want to look after on your death. So, when you are giving your will instructions, we will speak to you about what it is exactly that's in your estate that you can deal with in your will. Um, so, for example, assets that are already set up in trust you can't deal with in your will. They would be dealt with under the way the trust is set up already. There might be money you've already got invested in pension schemes or death and service benefits that are due to pay out to you. Those you can't deal with in your will, but we can talk to you about those to make sure they are set up in the way still to go to the people you want them to. We might not be able to deal with some foreign assets in your wills. The rules are particularly complex and it will depend on where in the world that foreign asset is and your will cannot deal with any property you own as joint tenants with another co-owner. So it may be your own property as joint tenants or joint bank accounts. But what we can deal with are assets in your sole name, and that will include some digital assets and also your share of any assets held as tenants in common with other people. So you, can, you may want to think about some specific provisions within your will. So some of the important things you'll need to think about are who are your executors and trustees. So that is, who do you trust to be in charge to make sure your will 
is administered in the way you have decided. If you have minor children, we would encourage you to think about naming guardians for those children, so you've had your say on who would care for them if the worst should happen. You can also go on to make provision uh, to discuss your funeral wishes. Um, you can also make specific gifts of personal belongings, for example, or pecuniary legacies, so amounts of money, to people. Um, most importantly, you can make provision for your partner, your children, your family, your friends, and we can also talk to you about trusts which may be necessary or uh, beneficial, particularly for disabled, vulnerable or minor beneficiaries. There are some specific situations and issues we would always discuss with you when taking your instructions to make a will. For example, a new marriage or separation or divorce might impact upon your will. Uh, second marriages or stepchildren in particular, you want to get that that balancing, that balance, that correct division to make sure new family, new partner are looked after, but also making sure your family are looked after. So talking about protection of assets for your blood relatives. In considering your will and your estate, we can also offer inheritance tax planning, including the impact of any lifetime gifts you may have made on inheritance tax, and also ultimately making sure your estate is given out in the way you want it to be. We'll also talk to you about any potential disputes or claims we may foresee um, being brought against your estate on your death. Okay. Even if you have a will already, we would encourage everybody to keep them under review as soon as there is any change in your personal circumstances. For example, if you buy a new property with anyone, if you were to get married or separate from your partner or get divorced, also if you have first child, new child, adopt a child, um, if anything unfortunate should happen to anyone in your, who is named in your will, if they die or their circumstances change in any other way, or also if you've sold or given away any of the assets uh, listed in your will, or if you've made any loans to um, friends or family members. Okay, so we at Astle Patterson, me and the rest of my team, we offer a bespoke service. We want to listen to you about your concerns, your assets, your affairs, and make sure we can guard you appropriately. Um, we are clear and open about our fees and time scales. At the end of the first meeting, we'll be able to give you an accurate indication of exactly what your will is going to cost, depending on what your requirements are. Uh, before your first meeting, we will issue you with what we call our will packs. So that's a few forms and some guidance and things to think about, so you're prepared, ready for the meeting. It also helps us get to know you and your circumstances very quickly at that first meeting. Uh, we do also offer a free 30-minute initial consultation. Um, it's no obligation, so if at the end of that 30 minutes you're happy um, with your will as it stands, then of course that's absolutely fine. But at the end of that 30 minutes, we should have a clear uh, idea of what it is you want to achieve and we'll be able to give you clear costs on what that would be to update that will or to make that new will. Also, in considering your wishes, we'll also be able to speak to you about powers of attorney if we think uh, it might be appropriate for you to consider. We'd also be thinking about her inheritance tax planning and trusts. Okay, thank you everyone for attending. I hope that was useful to you. If you've got any further queries, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me directly. If you go to our website, it's www.astlepatterson.co.uk. You'll find me and all my contact details on there.